Okay, welcome back. We're doing chapter five, section two, using intercepts. So now we're going to do an application problem. There are lots of places in the real world where we can describe things using linear functions. So you're gonna be seeing lots of different applications as we go through here. There's oftentimes, um, there's more complicated functions that describe things and it's understanding the linear stuff first that allows us to understand the more complicated type stuff. Um, some of you might even go on to uh, study a branch of math called calculus where things aren't always in lines that are more like curves. And, um, but first we gotta get through this before you can understand that. Okay, so we got the Sandia Peak Tramway in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And they got a picture of it in the book. Like right there see the picture so basically it's a kind of a cable car all right it hangs from a big cable you pay your money and then it takes you um, up to the top of Sandia Peak okay its speed is 300 meters per minute this function f of x equals 4,500 Subtract 300x tells how many meters you have from the top of the peak after x minutes. So when you start, you are 4,500 meters away from the top. Every minute you travel 300 meters, so you're getting closer. So after the first minute, you're at 4,200. After that, you're at 3,900. Then after, for the, after three minutes, you're at 3,600. Until And that keeps going down as you get closer. The distance you are away gets, goes to zero as you get closer. So we are going to graph this function and we're gonna find the intercepts and we're gonna figure out what each intercept actually represents. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to let x equal 0. And we're going to do this all together at the same time. When I say let x equal 0, this means at 0 minutes into the ride. So basically, it's at that precise moment when everyone's loaded up onto the onto the tramway and then it's just about to start. Before it starts to move, just momentarily, like just instantaneously before it starts to move, you are 4,500 meters away. How do I know that? Because 300 times zero is zero, and 4,500 is, my, subtract zero, is 4,500. So at zero minutes, f of x, which could also be y, is going to be 4,500 meters away. So now let's graph that. 4,500 at zero. So on my graph, I grabbed this, I, I adjusted it, and I stole this from Desmos, okay? So at zero minutes, you are 4,500 meters away. That is the y-intercept, by the way. All right, so now, when the ride is over and the distance that you are from the top, because now you are at the top, is going to be zero. So I'm going to say let f of x equal zero. And by the way, f of x has a different meaning, but for our purposes, f of x and y can be interchangeable. All right? So what happens here? So I get zero equals 4,500 subtract 300 X. And by the way, this is zero meters from the peak. So I gotta solve, let me move this up so you can see it. I gotta solve this a little bit. I'm gonna add 300 X to both sides. 
and I get 300x equals 4,500. I'm kind of running out of room here, so I'm going to squeeze it over here. Divide both sides by 300, and this gives me x equals 15. And what does x represent again? x is going to represent the time in minutes that you've been writing. So it takes 15 minutes to get to the peak. And when x equals 15 and you are zero away from the peak, that's going to be that point right there. Now, I need to, I need to grab a ruler. I don't think I can draw this freehand. Give it a try, though. All right. So the graph is going to look something like this. And I, t I already talked about it, but I'm going to I'm going to say it again. This point right here, x equals zero minutes. The y or the f of x equals four thousand five hundred meters away from the peak or the top of the the San, Sandia Peak, the top. Okay. So that means you still, you haven't started moving yet, and you have 4,500 meters to go. And every 300, sorry, yeah, every minute you go 300 meters. So at, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, at one minute you're right here, which is gonna be at 4,200. At two minutes you're gonna be right here, which is at 3,000, um, excuse me, I gotta get some water, 3,900 meters. And by the way, these are not, I just, I don't know if you thought this, but I was looking at this, it looks like negative signs, those are not negative, okay, it's just the line that's coming all the way through. Because I screenshotted this from Desmos, I adjusted Desmos until I made a nice graph, I didn't have a blank graph that would work for this. So again, every minute you get a little closer until you get zero meters away. Right here, x equals 15 minutes and y equals zero meters because you've arrived at the peak okay hopefully you understood that we're going to do another story problem when we get to the problems at the uh um in, in the practice problems okay